spending some time with this fragrance recently. It was actually my scent of the day here in my travel. For those of you that have been watching along the day of this recording, I actually traveled from Colorado back to Louisiana for my annual trip home. And in flight, I was actually enjoying this one all day long. Today we're going to be talking about Aqua de Parma Colonia Pura. So stay tuned. So I'll have the notes on screen for you guys. So this one kind of fits the theme of a lot of different Colonia fragrances in the line. Now, admittedly, I haven't tried a ton of them. It's actually still on my arm. Yeah, it's still going strong, which we'll talk about performance in just a little while. I say strong, not real strong. But what you're gonna get from this one is a nice dose of citruses up top and a beautiful hit of this pedigree note. So there's also a nice narcissist tone here. This note reminds me of kind of the green tone that you'll find in Hermes H24. That also has that narcissist floral tone. Uh, from what I understand about it, it can come across as hay or even have a tobacco type of hit. But most notably, I've the few times I recollect smelling it in this one, as well in H24, it gives off a green, more of a dry green nuance, a mild green tone. And here I get a little bit of a minty feel on my skin, kind of a light mint leaf type of thing. I don't know if that's a combination of the way it comes across as ozonic and the brightness and freshness of the citruses mixed with the pedigree and the narcissus, but it definitely comes across that way. There's a little touch of some light white florals here, light dose of woods. It does have a little bit of a clean musky tone to it in the dry down. It's not the most complex of fragrances, but it is one that's extremely authentic and enjoyable. The citrus here comes across as very natural. And it's a beautiful blast in the first hour. You're gonna have a really nice scent bubble, pretty good projection for the most part going around you. And it's just an absolutely delectable type of citrus smell with this fresh green tone. It's, it's got a very Italian style to it. I mean, Aqua de Parma, it's what you would expect. It's their forte. And uh, it's definitely one of the better ones, like I said, that I've tried. I've tried the original. I have Colonia Club, which is a dominating peppermint type of fragrance. Here, like I said, there's no minty notes in here, but it does come across a little light mint leaf feel on my skin. Nothing super complex and very deep here, but what you do get is very pleasant, enjoyable, and does smell of quality. This is one of those fresh fragrances that I feel can dress up just as well as it dresses down casually during the summertime because it has a class to it because of the quality and the authenticity of the smell. Now, like I touched on earlier, as far as performance, this is one that I've been getting consistently right around six hours on my skin. This is an eau de cologne concentration, as with a lot of these, these Colonia fragrances in this particular line. And because of the natural tone of these oils, even with it being highly volatile citruses at a lower concentration, that's where you get that brightness because it's a lower concentration with highly volatile citrus oils at the top. Super, super bright, airy, and projects really heavy early on. In that first hour, projection is fantastic, especially if you're the heavy sprayer type. Now, like I said, with that six hour mark, pretty consistent. It does become a faint skin scent for a little while after that, but it's kind of dead in the water for the most part, in my opinion, at the six hour mark. But like I touched on, projection in the first hour is very loud. At about the hour and a half point though, it does sit a lot closer to the skin and the sillage is on the more mild side, more so than moderate to mild. I don't get heavy whiffs of it, ever so faint light whiffs from time to time throughout the remaining life of the fragrance once the projection calms down. It's nothing spectacular. This is not a get noticed loud type of fragrance. This is more of a personal enjoyment type of fragrance where in the event somebody does smell you, they're more than likely going to think you smell really good. Because like I said, the authenticity of the citrus is here really is what makes the difference and adds that elegant tone for being just a citrus dominant, very ozonic and fresh fragrance. Performance in this one, I actually believe suits the scent profile and considering it's an eau de cologne, it actually outperforms what you would anticipate with an EDC concentration. Final thoughts on Colonia Pura from Aqua de Parma. I actually think this is a very good fragrance. I don't think it's phenomenal. It's not the best fresh fragrance that I've ever smelled. But it's definitely, as far as bright, airy, and super fresh niche fragrances I have in my collection, basically, it's in that upper echelon top tier. So for that, like I said, very good. I think this is absolutely a 7.5 out of 10 fragrance. I do plan on exploring 
more of the Colonia fragrances as well as the Blue Mediterranean line. I really do like Aqua de Parma. They make some of the best fresh fragrances on the market. And from discounters, you can get them pretty cheap. I paid right around 60 bucks for this 100 milliliter bottle from Kingdom Fragrance a while back. Uh, didn't hesitate as soon as I saw Steve had it in stock. I had heard good things about this one from my buddy Chad over at A Gentleman's Journey. Shout out to Chad. I had saw his review quite a while back on this. And uh, I thought, you know, eventually I need to try that. That sounds like something I would definitely enjoy. And speaking of Chad on my Center of the Day post today, he commented about how he, he loves this fragrance. So shout out to Chad. Make, make sure to check out A Gentleman's Journey if you guys aren't subscribed to him already. But uh, this is one that definitely gets the approval from me that you can spray on the heavier side, but I didn't really feel the need to. I stay in the five to seven spray range, and it's more than enough to get, get me through my day. Well, that's my thoughts and feelings on Colonia Pura from Aqua de Parma. Until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have tried this? What do you think about it? Seems to be uh, pretty good ratings from most. I want to say I've seen Chris from Fragmental speak on this one before. I want to say I saw his review on this, and I definitely remember seeing Chad's. That's the two that I recall seeing. Um, it's good stuff good stuff if you can get your hands on a sample obviously it's always the best route but you could do a lot worse on a blind buy admittedly it is a niche fragrance I, I never recommend blind buying a niche fragrance even though I do stuff like that all the time but in the $60 price point it's hard to beat I can't imagine anybody not liking the way this smells because like I said before it's authentic citrus it's bright and fresh it's got a mild green tone it's familiar but it's familiar done right, if that makes sense. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Colonia Pierre from Aqua Department and you give it a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.